students of high school is Tuesday, November 5th. Uh, student demand action will meet on Wednesday, November 6th at 3.30 in Jones Room. Uh, board Game Club will meet on Thursday, November 7th at 3.35 in Jones Room, play some games and have a snack. Uh, students, uh, Salon Club will meet will be meeting in Dan's Room today after school from 3.30 to 4.30. Be there or be square. Uh, blood Drive is this Friday. You gotta schedule your time today. Uh, stop by the table at lunch and get signed up. If you signed up to help with the blood drive, check the service bureau in classroom to see if you were scheduled. Please confirm with, with Zach today. Community service team will be helping the neighbors this Wednesday at 3.15 with yard work. Show up to Zach's room at 3.15 to help. Remember, driver's ed classes start today right after school. Classes are from 3.20 until 5.20 p.m. Make sure you are on time and also make sure your ride is here and waiting for you by that time. Class will be in Jennifer, Jennifer's room, room 104. All members of the Travel Club 9th through 12th grade need to see Neiman ASAP. He has information on upcoming fundraisers. Interested in joining Travel Club, go to Neiman. Remember that to travel is to live. Uh, did you know that the word facetious, facetious features all the vowels in alphabetical order? And then if you don't know what that word means, look it up. And now birthdays and here's me. My advice to a first-time donor would be to just go ahead and do it. It's not bad at all. I try to tell them that there's nothing to be scared of. Donating blood is easy. If someone has never donated before, I would encourage them to join me, to join Red Cross, and to help saving lives. For a first-time donor, just drink plenty of fluids, have a good breakfast. Eat something before you come to have this successful donation and also get that water intake. You should go ahead and do it even if you're afraid of needles. I am afraid of needles and I just don't look at what's happening over there. My technicians have always been really good about, you know, cracking a joke, lightening the mood, kind of helping me relax a little bit so it's an easier process. Definitely if you are able to take advantage of some of the apps and technology that the Red Cross has kind of put forward, it makes it even simpler. You can do the rapid pass at home, which is what I did. And the best part about it is they have the best snacks afterwards. It's not difficult. You can do this.